With the ever-growing fashion industry, LV Company has launched its latest facial product, an anti-aging cream offering protection against wrinkles and offering smooth skin. With its secret ingredient in place, it has managed to garner popularity in the market. Unbeknownst to the consumers is a dark spot in the production of the product. The cream relies heavily on breast milk as its major ingredient. However, this milk is obtained illegally by the company from ladies who have been trapped for years to harness it from them forcibly. They are unwittingly inseminated through artificial insemination year after year to ensure constant production of breast milk. Their newborn kids are isolated at birth and their survival strictly depends on their gender. Girls are kept and raised to increase production, while boys, on the other hand, are eliminated as they are of no benefit to the company. Our movie kicks off as a doctor conducts artificial insemination on a lady who is tied up. The room is filthy, insinuating this is no hospital. Despite this, the doctor goes about her business as usual as she has seemingly done this a thousand times. After finishing the procedure, she calls out for her henchman to pick up the lady. The man has an LV logo on his overall, affirming that he works for the company. He drags her away harshly and locks her up in a cage where several other ladies are also locked up. The state of the premise and the ladies themselves easily reveal the inhumane treatment they receive from their captor. Once a lady is brought in, she is artificially inseminated and locked up in the cage for nine months. After childbirth, she is moved to the milking zone to produce breast milk for the company. Once her production starts to fall out, she is brought back for insemination again, and the cycle continues. Later in the night, one of the ladies goes into labor, and the doctor's team kicks in to witness the birth while offering little help. The mother finally delivers a baby, which the doctor affirms is a boy. She is happy to have delivered a baby boy and affords a laugh amidst the tough conditions. However, her joy is cut short as one of the men picks up the baby and disposes it in the bin. Boys are discarded at birth as they are of no use to the company, but rather a liability. The other ladies watch in utter disbelief the traumatic turn of events as they know the same fate awaits them in the near future. This kind of experience has traumatized the ladies' lives severely. One of the ladies even begs one of the henchmen to finish her off to no avail, as he seems to enjoy the ordeal. Meanwhile, the doctor proceeds to make her regular checkups on the pregnant ladies. She realizes that one of them is unable to conceive and orders for her exclusion from the group. It turns out that such ladies are eliminated without a second thought. Letting them free isn't an option, as the company can't risk having their dirty doings exposed. With death staring unblinkingly at the remaining ladies, their survival instincts kick in fast. One lady named Paula fakes going into labor in the middle of the night to create a scene. As usual, one of the guys turns up to check and is greeted by a swift kick from her, immobilizing him instantly. She then picks up his knife and is reluctant to use it on him at first. However, their experience in the zone has turned them into ruthless beings and she finishes off the job courageously. As she picks up the keys from him to free the other lady, she gets hyped and cheers up as she impatiently bangs her cage. Paula asks her to remain calm, but it's too late as the noise attracts the guy's colleague. He is shocked to see his colleague's body and this offers Paula an opportunity to strangle him, finishing him off. She then throws the keys to the other lady to free herself. She sets out in a rush to find her, but before getting far, she notices a room close by. She peeps in and is shocked when she notices the lady dragged earlier on from her cage being eliminated. She quickly turns and moves in the opposite direction. She comes to a second room where she notices hundreds of women, all stuck to milking machines as production is currently underway. She slowly moves to the next room and is happy as she finds two young girls. Her maternal instincts are strong enough as she recognizes one of them as her daughter, insinuating they have been held captive for more than a decade. Sadly, the girl is seemingly dull due to her limited social interaction and barely recognizes her as she was separated from her at birth. As Paula tries reconnecting with her, one of the LV members tracks her down to the room and knocks her out. 
When she regains consciousness, she mysteriously finds the guy knocked down. She is lucky, as the other lady managed to free herself using the keys and came to her rescue. The duo then set out to capture the doctor and soon find her. They slice off her tongue and lock her up in the cage to give her a taste of her own medicine. They set out to find a way out while hiding from LV employees. They are lucky since the fishy business lacks CCTV cameras to avoid creating tangible evidence in case things blow up. As they move around, a TV advert runs advertising for the LV cream, which guarantees excellent skin care and many other benefits. However, this is set for a downfall in the near future as Paula and her colleague relentlessly try to find a way out. In the closing scene, the duo seem to come close to an exit, bringing a flicker of hope to the countless number of suffering women. <laughs>